Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf and to this command prompt course and today we are going to look at net user command and this is the command that allows you to add users, delete users, change passwords of users or view the user information and everything to do with your users. But first before I even open a command prompt I will show you how you can see these users in your graphical user interface. Right click on your windows icon which is your start icon located in the left bottom corner. Right Right click on it and go into system. Click here into the accounts in the left navigation. If we click into the accounts and we scroll down, we will see here other users. I am using Windows 11 in Windows 10. It, this could be a little bit different. So click on other users and here you will see all users which are created on your computer. And as you know, in your computer you can create more than one user and to all those users you can give their login details so when they login they can see only their information so each user's account on windows operating system is as a separate account they have their own desktop they have their own downloads and now let's open a command prompt let's type in in search cmd hit enter once we open a command prompt we will be located in our account my folder for my account is called marty that's why you are seeing here last past marty and here with other users you will not be able to see your administrative account as you know to see your administrative account click on folder or file explorer let's click here at the bottom of the screen and then you scroll down and here in the left navigation you click into windows c and here on this windows c if we click on the top navigation you see that we are in c here is users folder if we click into this users folder you will see this marty folder where is my desktop where's my documents where's my downloads and the same applies to other users and that's why whenever we are opening a command prompt in users mode we can see that we are in users and we are in our directory but like i mentioned you as administrator you can create other users on your computer as you can see here under accounts on my computer there is currently created another user whose name is jack but now let's use this net user command and to use a net user command we type in net space and user and hit enter and you will be able to see all users here you can see also this jack user by typing net space user command you can see all users which are on your computer another use case for net user is to add a new user or delete a user but to be able to do those actions if you would want to add or delete user you would need to be in administrators mode as we are logged in in a simple user we will not be able to do it and whenever we will try to create a new user or delete user we will get an error so let's close down the command prompt and let's type in again cmd or command prompt and once you will start typing it you will see this command or system icon command prompt right click on it and let's run as administrator and to notice that you are running as administrator or in administrative mode you can read this here at the top of this command prompt or you can see that you are in system 32 this indicates that you are using command prompt as an administrator and now let's create another user currently you can see that we have this one user which is jack or we could also test it by typing net space user and hitting enter and we can see that there is this user jack as well but if we would want to create a new user we can do it by typing in net space user then space and then you are specifying a username if that username will have only one word in the name then you don't need to use any quotation marks however if that username which you are trying to create will have two or more words in its username you will need to specify it with quotation marks with double quotation marks for example if your username would be john doe in this scenario you would need to use a quotation marks but if you would be typing only john you wouldn't need to specify any quotation marks and second parameter after a space and after you have specified the password then space and then we need to type forward slash and add attribute once you have typed them net user then you gave this user a name and then you gave the password in my case i very made very simple password which is simply password usually you would give much more complicated password then space forward slash and add and hit enter and the command completed successfully and now if we will go to our 
accounts and users i will need to refresh this so i will click on accounts and again i will go to other users there you will see that we have created this user which is joe doe but now for example if you would want to delete the user from your users you can also easily do it also by typing net user command then you need to specify a username if that username has more than one word then you need to also use a quotation marks in our case we will be deleting this joe doe user joe space doe quotation marks then space forward slash and delete and hit enter and this will delete this user joe doe as you can see this command completed successfully and again we can go back to graphical user interface i will click into accounts i will click into other users and you will see that that joe doe account has been deleted and now i have cleaned my command prompt and now if you would want to see all information about some particular user let's say we have here only one user left and if we would want to see all his information we can also do it by typing in net user then space and specifying that username as jack has only one word in his name we don't need to use quotation marks so we type, type in net user space jack and hit enter and here we can see all information that his username is jack as you can see if he would have a full full name then there will be would be his full name and here we can see workstations which are allowed here we can also see that local group membership in which group he is or what kind of permissions he has as he is simple user and other information you can see by using this command so yes guys this is how you can use a net user command in command prompt mm -hmm.